in this video we're going to be making a homemade campcraft popcorn maker. Hi, I'm Simon. Welcome to Red Western Bushcraft. In this project, you're going to need two cans. You're going to need a cutting tool, you're going to need popcorn, and you're going to need quite a few tea lamps. Now, before we do anything, the first thing you need to do is light about four of these guys. Once they're all turned to liquid wax, I want you to pull the wicks out of them and put them all into one to make one super candle. That's going to be the heat source to make our popcorn pop. Well, the candles are set, they're melting away. While, uh, while they're doing that, I thought I'd take this time to catch up with you. Um, I haven't made a video in forever. Started a new job a few weeks ago, so I've been pretty busy with that. But, school holiday, so I thought I'd sneak out and, uh, and make this one. Hope you enjoy it. Anyway, get back to it. Okay, so the candles are lit, they're burning down nicely. While I wait for that, I want to open up the first can. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut a line around halfway. Okay, now, I'm going to use a knife if you've got scissors, doesn't matter, use whatever you can. And that's what you're left with. Now, it is probably a lot easier to do this next bit with scissors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut two big sections outside. Use these scissors. So these act as vent holes, with uh, having four wicks burning, there's a lot of um, oxygen being burnt up. If you don't put big enough space, the candle suffocates itself. What you need to do next is cut a few uh, small incisions down the, the top part. Once you have those, I want you to fold them inwards, that's going to create a shelf be a second can to sit on top. So for your second can, what I like to do is cut two lines down in the front, one across the bottom, and then two smalls at the top. That opens up as a door, allows the popcorn to fall out. Okay, so we just had a sudden downpour, so I've just had to throw everything in the shed for a few minutes. Um, looks like it's about cleared up, so I'll, uh, I'll carry on with the video. So I managed to put the four wicks into the one candle wax, so we've now got our super candle. The uh, popcorn machine is ready to get going. All I need to do now is put the popcorn in here with a splash of oil, light a candle in under here. When you're pouring the popcorn in, you only really want to put like a single layer of popcorn on there. If you put too much on it, just won't work. So the 
candles are lit, all that's left to do now is put the can on. Now we sit back and wait for the magic. Alright, that's the end of the video. All I have to do now is add some seasoning and, uh, and enjoy. Speaking of which, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you weren't a fan, you can give me a thumbs down if you like. For my latest video, I'd like to hit the top there. For some more great content, hit down below. And as always, if you would like to subscribe, hit the compass in the middle. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>